you know that every speech by some politician will say, we must have health care for everybody. We should do this. We have to do this. Should, have, would, could. But they're meaningless. People don't take action because of that. They would maybe take some action if they could understand something. But they don't understand it. What you understand first is what you can touch and what keeps you alive and your family and things like that. The bigger patterns, you have to really make entertaining and seductive and clear. Nobody's doing that. You can't proclaim that something should happen. It doesn't have to happen. The world has never happened because it should happen that way. <laughs> From constructive clarity, the truth, I believe things will change. If you, some truths are so powerful that people rally behind them. What was a truth that was visible? The sit-in in the South. Anybody, black or white, going into a place and being served. That picture of people sitting at a lunch counter was a hell of an invention. Because it said so many things. And yet it just was the truth. And it wasn't somebody on a platform saying, we should all be served food in the same restaurants. It was a visual image of what we couldn't deny. You can't deny it. You can't deny that that is the truth. Right? And I'm in, interested in undeniable truth that presents itself, not propaganda, that shades the truth. And the truth has to be the best truth we know at the moment and that we might have another truth later on. Because truth is not necessarily fact. It's just the best you can do at the time. I mean, I certainly can understand people for a long time believing that the earth was flat and the sun went around the earth. Why wouldn't you believe that? But you have to have some very clear demonstrations to change your belief system. You know, it's, it's, it's hard to believe in an atom when you can't see it. It's hard to believe in things that you can't touch. Mm 